Since 1917, the Kellogg family has been renowned in this area for providing families with their floor covering needs. Now, 90 years later, there's another saga in the Kellogg family. Phil Kellogg, renowned furniture builder, rustic furniture to be exact, and we're joining him today here in South Glens Falls on Adirondack Living TV. Hey Phil, what's going on? How you doing, Jeff? Great, how are I'm you? Just working on this piece of uh, railing here that's gonna go on a job in Lake George. There's 107 feet of this, but uh, I uh, just finished a nice piece that I got downstairs. Let's go down and take a look at it. After you, come on down. Phil, all I can say is, wow. What, what can you tell me about this piece? It's a traditional Adirondack piece, and it's called a root base table. And it's, this is a yellow birch root. The loggers call this standing on its knuckles. These areas here, this tree was actually growing over the top of another tree. You look for areas in the woods, especially around creek beds, things like that, where there's some blow down. There's a lot of open space in between here, and it's fairly symmetrical. So we, we, uh, we, like, we picked this to do something a little more unusual to make a small table top mimic exactly the same as the base down on the bottom here. And the decorations are exactly the same. Now looking at this, there are a great number of species that I can see involved in the project, but you're a better one to answer the question. So how many are we actually dealing with? That's a good question. Uh, there actually are quite a few unique little things here. Let's go, first of all, we have this really great organic yellow birch root base. We have European fallow deer antlers, natural shed antlers. We have yellow birch saplings, striped maple forest dried, white birch, the backside of the white birch, this right around here. Manzanita root from Southern California, and uh, little. Uh, this is a little burl from uh, Ponderosa pine. So, Phil, is rustic furniture just for people in the Adirondacks, or does it actually have some functionality other places in the country? Every part of the country has a version of rustic furniture mm -hmm. for them, or rustic work, and what they think is beautiful and what isn't. This is a classic Adirondack piece, but over here we've got a western piece of furniture that would be considered uh, rustic in, uh, say, Utah or uh, Montana. Uh, this is a western piece. It's a hutch. Uh, it's heavily carved uh, with a western theme. They like a lot of carving out there. You can see that there's horses in it. Uh, our area is steeped in history with uh, horse lure, and lots and lots of people have horses and uh, we get a, a tremendous amount of customers that want horse-related uh, 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 furniture. These are different pieces of striped maple in the woods today. This would be all green, but when it's dried, it gets this beautiful brown color, and this, is, uh, this again matches all of the other color harmony that you're trying to put together. All of these things come in play, pull the whole piece together when you put the whole concert together. When the drummer and, the, and, and, the, and the, the bassoons and everything are playing in harmony, you get a beautiful piece of music. Here I don't you have get any a beautiful piece with of bassoon, Phil. You don't have any with no. bassoons. Okay, all right. How about tubas? When the tubas are all playing, <laughs> I think. But, uh, <laughs> Here we are. I'm surrounded by three roots. Tell me the story behind these because these obviously make up the foundation for the table that we just saw in the workshop. That's right. These are, these are some root bases that we pulled last fall and uh, we're going to get ready to bring those up and put them in 30 day charge in the kiln and these will get turned into the bases for different types of tables. These are yellow birch root bases, the two here. They have nice symmetry to them in the bottoms. We've got them standing up on their knuckles so that uh, there's lots of space in between them. It's not just a flat root to the, to the, to the ground. So typically then with the, the birch applications, Phil, we are using bark. or leaving bark on. Yes, yes, that's, a, that's right. Bark with on. some sort of a finish on it to yeah. prevent this uh, 
yep. this flaking or peeling that we would have. Yeah, usually you clean those things up and then you can use tongue oil, but people use various different uh, materials. Well, thanks, Phil. Appreciate the tour today. Thanks for the education. Certainly wonderful learning about the various applications and the products and all the species that are going into these, these fine works of art that you're creating, these heirloom quality works of art. Thank you. Great, Phil. Thanks again. See you. See you soon. Don't touch that remote. We'll be right back with more Adirondack Living TV right after this.